Hey guys, welcome back to Rule the World. Now check out this amazing coat of arms up here to my right. Oh yeah, on your left that is. Looks amazing and look at, look at this. We've got the words of our house as well. Build and grow because that's exactly what we're doing here. We're mostly farming at the moment, but that's going to change as soon as we start to raise an army. Now this episode, what I want to do is focus on gathering a bit of materials. You can see my farmer's hard at work and we're gonna have to play around with our courier a bit because Martin seems to be doing things a little bit wrong. Also, I wanna get into automation. That might not happen this episode, but for real, for sure, I wanna get a mine this episode. So let's jump in and see what we need to do. Right, yeah, oh, I'm really impressed with that coat of arms. Harry did a, did a great job here. Harry, who works for us, he did a, he did a really cool job on this coat of arms. I'm really happy with the greens, but also I loved some of the coat of arms that I saw you guys contributing on Twitter and on Reddit and, and whatnot. And I loved some of the names that you guys have come up, come up with uh, for our kingdom. Now, I'm not, still not quite sure. I mean, some of you guys suggested Alethkar, which is like a really cool kingdom name from one of my favorite book series, but I don't want to copy a book. Another name that you guys came up with was Stjinterfell, and I really like that. It's like Winterfell, but with Stjin in it. So I'm thinking about Stjinterfell, but keep the keep the uh, suggestions coming, and I'll keep digging through those in the comments section and, and see what I think, and pick the best one. Right, so what's going on over here, right? We're, we're, they're definitely working hard on the crop farm over here. Now, I've taken Martin's rooting orders out because he was he was making a few mistakes. The problem that Martin was doing is I don't think he was putting the wheat into the warehouse properly because we haven't got the proper block in here. We need a warehouse control interface. So what I might do is I might go upstairs or rather I can just use not enough items actually. I'll type at ancient wharf. Right, let's look through this and see if we can find a warehouse control uh, interface thing. Because what we have here is the control block, right? That's not what we need. We need the interface. Okay, so how do you make this? Oh, no, that, that's really easy. That's oak planks, chest, and paper. I definitely have enough for that, so let's just get some wood. Oh, whoops, wrong button. Let's get some wood out of here. Ah oh, no, panic at the disco! There's no wood inside the warehouse! That means we should definitely build a tree farm at some point. But I want to build a mine first, because we're going to need some, some ores and definitely some gold ingots to get some more NPCs. Now our workers are kind of pretty frantically working. I don't think, I don't think these farmer guys actually have time to touch on the, uh, the animal farm at all. They're just working really hard, just getting carrots and potatoes and, uh, and wheat up and running. But let's see if I can find some wood and get a warehouse uh, interface block. Oh yeah, there's some Sakura wood, and there's some dark oak wood, so that's just exactly what I need. Now I also need some paper, which I've got, and I can make a chest. Okay, no worries, let's get back to the warehouse and make this block. Oh hey, it's me! Hey, top of the morning, Shin. how are you doing? On your way back home to get some grub, is that right? Wait, what are you doing? Hello, Hannah, what are you doing? What are they doing back here? There's work to be done on the farm! Lewis is stuck by the pond. Maybe he's looking in there trying to fish. Maybe he's having a moment of contemplation. Maybe? Oh, man. Well, looking over here at the uh, at the farms over here... I don't know. I don't know if the sheep are producing... Oh, there's no wool in here! Hang on a sec. Oh, no, this could be trouble. I don't think these guys are using the farms properly. And if that's happening, then that's... that's. Oh, whoa, look at the eggs! Well, at least we know the farm's working. Tell you what, I'm gonna just chuck a few more eggs in here, see if we can get a few more chickens. What the dickens? Let's get some chickens. Oh yes, yeah, spamming it. Oh, whoops, I hit, hit some of the chicks with the eggs. Alright, just a few more. Oh yeah, there we go. I'll just get a couple more stacks of eggs. Oh, I love just throwing eggs around and getting chicks. It's fantastic stuff. Really therapeutic. Oh yeah, look at these little babies fly out of the eggs. Pretty cool. Oh, oh, no, 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 Oh, I almost let them out there. That was a bit tricky. Okay, I'm going to leave it there because, man, there's a lot of chickens. Oh, oh, hello, little dude. How you doing? There's a lot of chickens in there, so I'm just going to leave it and see if they actually produce any uh, raw chicken. Because at the moment, we, do, we do, don't, don't really have that, that kind of... We don't have that supply of cooked chickens. Luckily, though, the pork farm is producing. We've got 19 pork chops there. And what's this over here? Oh, yeah, plenty of leather and plenty of beef. So we can we can definitely kind of... We definitely know that they're working, but what we need to do is, is get some kind of more farmers, maybe, to work on those farms. Although, I don't know why Hannah isn't just walking over there and doing it right now. Maybe they're too far away. 
Right, so upstairs to the ancient warfare engineering station. Oh, and there's already a bunch of stuff in here. Now, we need to make a warehouse interface, and that's just wood, chests, and paper. So we'll make a chest first. There we go. And there's the chest. Get that wood out of there. Put the chest in the middle, the paper on top, and I think, was it logs around the edge? I think it was. Oh, those are the wrong type of logs. Let's see if dark oak logs work. Wait, hang on a second. Have I got this right? Oh, no, it's wooden planks. My bad. Right, so wooden planks around the edge, a chest in the middle, paper on top, and bam, a warehouse interface, okay? Let's get those planks out of there. I might as well leave them in the bench for now. And now let's go and put this down and change Martin's orders so that he puts stuff into the warehouse. And we're going to plonk it right there on the corner, I reckon. Now what we do is we put the routing order, what we're going to do is we're going to hold shift and right click. Oh, where that? That's the control block. We're going to remove the control block. And now, how do you, you press Z, I think. Blam! Okay, so now number six tells Martin to drop off his wheat over here. Oh, and he's already coming. What's, what's he doing? Oh, is he stuck? Oh, no, Martin's stuck. All right, he hasn't got any orders at the moment, so what we're going to do is we're going to right click, give him his orders. All right, soldier, off you go. And now he's going to go around and move around all the crops and hopefully put all of the wheat that we want him to into the warehouse. Now, oh, where are these guys going? Are they going home? Is it getting late? Where's the sun? Oh, no, it's still high in the sky, so these guys are probably just going for something to eat. But that's weird. I think these guys are only farming these three farms. So maybe we need some more farmers to work on the animal farm. Because we're going to need a lot of wool. If, oh, hey, Rithian. How are you doing? We're going to need a lot of wool if we're going to want to, you know, to make, uh, to make some windmills. So, okay, let's jump on to the next thing on our to-do list, and that is a mine, or rather a quarry. Now, again, the quarry is in here somewhere. Let's take a look for it. Now, it's there it is, a quarry. So what do we need to make this? Our oh, easy peasy. An iron pickaxe, some wooden gears, some planks in the chest. Well, okay, where can we get some more iron for a pick? Here we go. There's got to be some iron in here. Oh, yeah, plenty. Nine should do us, do us fine. Now, actually, let's watch for Martin, because he should be coming back now on his rounds to drop off. There he is. Oh, now, is he going to drop off the wheat? Moment of truth. Did he do it? Let's take a look. Is there any wheat in here? Yeah, there is. 138. Now, I'm not sure if that was just in here to start with. This thing, the, uh, the, the, the warehouse hasn't foot filled up. So I think he probably did drop off his wheat. I wish there was a way for us to check. Oh, actually, maybe there is. Maybe we can check the farm and see if the wheat's vanished from in here. Now, oh, it still looks full of wheat to me. So I'm not sure he's doing his job correctly. But we haven't got time to police Martin. We'll have to figure out what's wrong with him in a bit after we've worked on the quarry. Oh my god, Rigan's got nothing to do. The priest has nothing to do, so he's gone for a dip in our little kind of in our little river. That's uh that's nice with him. Hope you dry yourself off before you get back to priesting. Right, let's get some sticks. There you go. And now we'll make the iron pickaxe. Oh yeah, one step closer. Now we've already got a whole bunch of uh, wooden gears in here, so we'll use those. But what else do we need to make a quarry? Wooden planks and a chest, no worries. So we'll make the chest there. And now it's time to fill up the rest of the items. So if I go to a quarry, and it's iron pickaxe in the middle, gears on the left and right, chest in the bottom, and planks around the edge, and will this do it? Yes, there it goes. There it goes, the, the quarry. Pretty sweet. Now, I also want to make a bounds upgrade because, hey, if you can, why not? Now, look at these. You can make a medium and a large quarry upgrade. That sounds pretty sweet. But to start with, I want to make a basic quarry. So we're probably just going to make like a large bounds upgrade or maybe even just a medium bounds upgrade because that way we can, um, we can just make a small quarry to start with and just to make sure it works. And then if it works really well, we'll make a big 64 by 64 quarry to get all of the materials. Oh, there's already some bounds upgrades in here, so I'll just grab those. And while I'm here, I'll just drop off a whole bunch of stuff that's in my inventory that I don't need. Leather, bones, cobblestone, wool, wool. Might come in handy. How much wool have we got in here anyway? Only 22. Yeah, we really need to save up our wool. Put the raw chicken, the potato, zombie brains, ew. Arrows. 
And uh, I'll hold on to the rest of the things because we, we never know what we might need. Ah, oh, whoops, I've still got a grass block in my inventory. Ah, oh, no, I had to fill in this patch out here with some grass blocks in creative because Lewis was getting stuck in a hole. So I'm just going to get rid of that for the time being. Oh, I wonder where I put my green sword then. Oh, no, I must have replaced it. Damn. Right, now it's time to sleep, but yeah. I've had some real problems with these NPCs, though. There's all kinds of pits and holes around my base, and the NPCs, when they when they don't have anything to do, like Lewis here, he gets bored, and as you can see, he wanders into the rose bushes. And the problem is, when he does that, he just kind of, well, he gets completely lost, and he often gets stuck in these big holes, which means he can't come out of them. It's a real mess. It's really hard to deal with. I really hate kind of having to fix that. So I went around and I filled up a few holes with, uh, with some grass blocks. Right, so we have our quarry, but what we're missing now is a miner. So what we're going to have to do is get an NPC pack for a worker and a miner. Now what do I need for an NPC? Well, it's pretty easy. I need a food bundle, two gold ingots, and a tool. Let's see. I can ask this recipe right here. I need a wooden pickaxe. No worries. I probably still have some spare somewhere. Right, so wooden pickaxe. Here we go. And that's everything I need for another worker. Oh yeah, can't wait. Now I already know what I'm going to name this guy and I already know how we're going to... Now I think I have to give him a pickaxe for him to become a miner and I want to give him a good one so I'm going to make him an iron pickaxe. Now can you guess what we're going to call our miner NPC and also can you guess what skin we're going to give him because well two of them are one and the same. Now, while I hear you shouting names there, I'm going to jump into into kind of free roam camera mode and uh, and just quickly build a nice little quarry, probably out here behind the farm, behind where all the um, behind where all the animals are kind of being tended to, where we can just dig out a big hole and, and gather some materials. Now, if I hang on a sec, I'll take a look down here. Now, the problem we have is if we build a quarry here, there's a big open gap here that's kind of ugly and, and it'll probably dig straight into it and not get enough resources. So we need to probably rethink where we're going to put our quarry because we can't put it here next to the barn. Let me think. How about up here over the other side? Yeah, this looks good enough to me. It's getting We're getting very far away from our town hall though, so actually... Well, I don't know. It's it's really difficult to know where you should be putting things. We could have another town hall separately, but I don't want to do that because that means uh, Rhythian will have to walk even further when he resurrects people. So I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to put the quarry this side next to the warehouse because that way, whenever we gather materials, we can just whip it up and plonk it back in the warehouse, which is right next door. In fact, we could probably dig through the wall at the back there and have a back entrance to the warehouse for the quarry dude. Well, okay, let's jump into uh, let's let's jump into build mode and check it out. Right, so I've come down to the other side of the storage warehouse, the storehouse, to build the quarry. Now, this first quarry is going to be only nine blocks by nine, but that's a great place to start, I think. It's a bit bigger than a normal quarry, but it's not huge. I want to test the quarry first on a small zone. And that's why you see me mapping out this area with cobblestone walls, and that's where the quarry itself is going to go inside. But to decorate the quarry itself, what I also wanted to do was to bring out the path that weaves up behind the storehouse and, and is raised slightly with the dark oak wood and the cobblestone. And what I wanted to also do was build a really cool crane, because when I think quarries, when I think, you know, like kind of construction in medieval days, I think big, wooden, old-fashioned cranes. So, using a mix of fence posts, logs, and, uh, and oak planks, I started to build a crane. Now, the crane itself is going to reach up diagonally using stairs, and the other side is going to be held in place using a cobblestone counterweight. Now, it took me a while to get the counterweight as I wanted it, and I did come back later to finish it up and add some wooden fence bracing. But I also wanted to lean down with some wooden fence from the very peak of the crane and create a pretty cool platform. And on the platform, I've put down a bunch of Decacraft barrels, golden bars, and a long crate, just to make it look like the crane is carting around some important stuff. So I'm really happy with how this build has turned out. As you can see, I made the counterweights even bigger, and I added this cobblestone wall around the edge of the bottom of the crane. But all in all, this is looking pretty good. And what I'm going to do is, I think I'll probably put all of the quarries around this area. 
Right, now that was a pretty cool build, a bit, a bit of a small one, a bit of a simple project, but I'm really happy with how the crane turned out. And as you can see, I've modified the counterweight a bit. You can see I've used some cobblestone stairs along the bottom just to add a bit more decoration and definition. Now let's check on the warehouse, see if old Martin has been putting in the wheat like we asked him to. Where's the, ah, oh, 202. Right, so it's definitely gone up. That means Martin is definitely taking wheat over here. Oh, excellent, right, okay. Well, let's put down the quarry, get this show on the road. Now we're gonna put it directly in the middle, so let's see, that's about here. Now, oh, as you can see, it's the bounding box, the uh, the kind of white line around this is on the floor. It's not raised up, well, that's because, well, a quarry digs down, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a medium bounds upgrade as well to it, bam! Did that work? Did it? Oh, no, guys, you know what, I think, I think the ain't I think the medium bounds upgrade doesn't work on quarries. I think uh, the medium quarry upgrade might be what we have to do. Let me see. I'll, I'll I'll click and see if I can make the bounds bigger. Oh no, I can. So it has worked. Or it might be that we don't even need to use a bounding box to increase the size. So I'll just now move the. Um... Oh no. I'll move, oh, getting this all wrong. If I move that there and put that in the middle, is that, oh, that's a bit too big. So I need to tinker with the boundings so it goes inside the wooden walls. Let's bring the size down a bit. Is that, there we go, that's getting there closer. We need to bring it down by one, two, three, four, five. So that is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And now I'll move this to the middle. Now this is, there we go, that's perfect. And right now we can get this show on the road and see if this quarry actually works. But wait, before we do that, we're gonna need to put down a worker. And uh, this, we're gonna right click in here so that the worker thinks the uh, the town hall is his home. And it's right near to the, uh, to the quarry. So he's gonna have no problem coming over here to get his carrots and potatoes, sweet. So we'll put down the worker, bam! Now what we'll do is we'll give him the pickaxe. Oh yeah, now he knows what he is, he's a miner. But we're gonna, wait a minute, how we, we've gotta change that skin and that name. Guess who this guy's gonna be? That's right, it's Honeydew! He is back and he is mining for us now. Now let's see if his skin works. He's gone, he's gone, he's going straight to the mine already. There it is, yes, woohoo! We have Simon on our village, oh yeah, in our kingdom. This is amazing. And he's getting hard to work, digging away at the quarry. Oh, this is amazing, oh sweet. So now we can leave him to it and he's gonna dig up all the materials we're ever gonna need. Now, this is probably gonna take a really long time because look how slow he's doing it. He's going so slow. And there's only what, like seven, maybe eight dirt inside the quarry. So we're gonna have to find a way to speed up this process. And what I'm thinking is, this is a great time to invest in windmills because we have a problem over at the animal farm, those farms aren't getting enough manpower and this quarry could definitely use a lot more manpower too. So we're gonna invest in some windmills, I think. But that's been it for Rule the World. Next episode, fingers crossed, we'll get onto automation and we might be able to tell Martin to come and pick up all of the goodies that we've got at the quarry and take them to the storehouse. But oh yeah, this, is, this place is really coming up and I can't wait to get further into the kingdom. So until next time, guys, hit like, favorite and subscribe and I'll see you for some more rule the world. Take care.